Welcome back, friends, to the shop. Today, we're gonna to be welding in the double barrel wood stove heat exchangers. Unlike East Coast guys, I like to have my workspace neat and orderly before I start working, and I can't stand stickers. Remember that warm place in hell I told you that was reserved for those manufacturers that don't standardize things? Well, there's a place not much cooler for the guy that puts stickers all over everything. Quarter of a man hour to get that thing off of there. I'm gonna use a little paint thinner to clean that uh, every ounce of sticky that came on that sticker remained on the barrel. Uh, clean that off of there. And I've read and been told that you wanna have your area as clean as possible that you're about to weld. That way you don't get your, uh, any contaminants in there. You know, for, so for like critical life safety things like this, you don't want these welds to fail. I mean, can you imagine the consequences? I kinda like the smell of paint thinner. It's like the original version of a Tide Pod. I feel like I'm fueling a reactor here. Okay, so it just kind of worked out that uh, the length of these, when they go through the hole on the other side here and they hit the ground, they're just about the right spacing. So we don't have to try to clamp anything. Now I'm gonna start the welding on the, on the back side that's gonna be up against the wall uh, so that we can get our uglier stuff done here. Hopefully by the time I get around here, I'll be somewhat proficient. So first one's done, didn't go too bad. It's hard to weld in a circle like that because it's either going away from you or towards you because it's always turning. I had, it might be a little bit hot too. I had to weld faster than I was comfortable to prevent from burning holes in it. I turned it down from four, five to four and a half. I'll try that on this next one, but let me bring you up and show you what it looks like. It's not great. Yeah, it's not great. So I turned it down to four and a half and I just did a little patch of a hole that I burnt through there. That's not hot enough. So I think that the temperature is probably right. I just need to, to work a little bit more efficient and faster. That did not go as good as I was hoping. Hey, whew, don't take long for me to lean on something. All right, so uh, I had a little trouble with that welding around that circle. I found that exceedingly difficult. I experimented with some hotter heat and some cooler heat. What seemed, <laughs> they actually they are getting better. What seemed better to me where I was having less trouble was, um, was a little bit maybe less heat that I needed. Uh, and it gives me the ability to go slower because I, I just can't move and, and I don't have the dexterity and the coordination from the you know, years of doing it. Uh, to keep up with the welder to get that burn. Uh, but I'm glad I practiced over here because I learned a lot. So let's flip it over and uh, I'll bring you up for a close up of one that uh, I hope will be acceptable. This is number two. It's a little bit better, not a whole lot. It, I'm still rushing it a little bit. I think I need to let that heat up and flow a little bit more, but it is definitely getting better. You can see I have to start and stop because I have to move to get in a position where I'm comfortable. It's really, uh, really kind of tricky. Whoa. It's not what you do to your new welder. Well, there it is, guys. That is the fruit of my labor. Not very impressive. And you know I'm showing you the better side. <laughs> but, uh, of course, oh, I could, looks like there might be even a pinhole there. No? Man, yeah, it's just some slag or something. Better than the other side. I'm not even going to show you that one if I haven't already. But, uh, ah, you live and learn. I, I think a after a couple hundred of these, I'd finally get it. The thing that's really difficult is body positioning. I tried several different things and getting a consistent... Uh, yeah, it's just tough. Boy, hats off to pro welders. Those guys really do earn their money. I'll tell you, it's hard work. Here it is. It's cold, and I'm uh, really cold. It's like 26, and I'm sweating buckets. Uh, it's just, it is hard work for sure. Before we put it on, I'll take a rat tail file and file all those burrs off around here.
I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking I outsmarted myself. Now that I filled this up full of tubing, there's no way for me to get a wrench down in there and, and bolt that top section on. Well, that's where you'd be wrong. Because with the grace of God and these self-tapping sheet metal screws, we'll have that piece <laughs> have it on there. No, there's a couple reasons I didn't want to, to bolt this down. I want to be able to separate them so we can move it. Uh, more on that to come. So it's a lot easier. These things are pretty awkward uh, when they're big and tall. They're not super heavy. One guy can usually jack them around and get them into position, but a lot easier with two pieces. Um, I was going to paint this today, uh, but I just am not in the mood because something better came up. I just got a text from The Real Martian, and he's very excited to share his shop. He's, he said he's almost got his whole shop remodel all done. I haven't been over there since we were there that day helping him with this framing, but he's got everything all done. He picked up all the, I, we, I gave him a bunch of shelving I had left over from the Jeep parts business. He picked up his table today. So let's jump in the truck. We'll head over there and uh, see what he's up to. Might as well take Mrs. W's car. Give us a tour. Well, you know this bench very, very well. It looks so small. Do you know, notice anything different about it though? Since you painted it. We put a little paint on it and then put the wood in there. Battleship gray, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then here, let's, there we go. Oh, look at that. So we got lots of light now. Uh, that was one of the big problems we had is couldn't really see anything. So we got the spotlights. Those are left over from have one. Lots of plugs? Lots of outlets. Yep, got that all put in. Uh, come on over here. We're even starting to mount the fire extinguishers. We're gonna, Safety Sally can actually come here nice. now. Nice. Come on up. I was absolutely shocked that the internet had so many stair experts <laughs> after uh, reading all the comments. Indeed, indeed. It seems I like think the point everywhere. that they, or the thing they didn't understand was that it was they were made out of scrap. Yes, indeed. Everything, that whole thing you just came up with is all recovered from have one. In fact, a lot of this project is all recovered. Wow, I can't believe this is actually usable now. Yeah, yeah, no, so we got everything. Uh, we still have some more work to do, but we have lots of storage in here now. And then this is gonna be my reloading bench and I've got recovered wood that oh, I'm gonna resurface on that. Oh, and, and you just made some shit, cut those shelves down and made yep. them into a, bit, a bench. Yep. We need to get some better lights. We just have the light and yeah, you definitely have to watch. I'm a short guy, you're a tall guy. Are we going to the best part? Yes, we are, yeah. These stairs do get your attention. They're definitely a little steep. The backside here, this turned out really nice too. We're gonna take the black flooring and put that back up against it. Uh, and then this will be where that curtain goes. So you have a backdrop for your thumbnails. Correct, yeah. And we're gonna got some lighting as well uh, that I'll be installing, some photography lighting. There's gonna be some award for whoever can guess what that clicking sound is. And it's oh. not Forrest Gump playing ping pong. No, and it's not definitely not ping pong. That is, I think that's your, the most asked question on my site is... Put, put your best guess in the comments. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, welcome um, to Shop 2.0. Believable. Yeah. I can't believe it. We're still working in here, so it's not good, but this is the recovered wood here as well. We just sanded it, put it down, so we got a really nice hardy bench now to work on. Uh, it's not perfectly flat, so I was going to say that. And it doesn't need to be right I've now. I've got my wide angle on, no one will know. <laughs> uh, storage, oh, this has been so awesome. Having the tools actually out, I've already, this is already being used here. In fact, there's a tool missing, which I didn't know about. So we're gonna go find that tool. Uh, so it's nice having everything up there. I definitely, I definitely need some new screwdrivers because when you put your screwdrivers out for everyone to see, they look pretty pathetic. But uh, everything is right here. Even uh, the tool chest is actually now a little bit empty, but you can actually find stuff now. A place for the tape, chalk, uh, everything there. This, I was telling you, is from my dad. This is 20 years old. And uh, I'm so excited to actually have a place to finally put it. And it was the very first thing I installed. So it was like my dad was here. So this is where the 3D printer goes. It's all on a switch. So got the lights here. Uh, we've got the 3D printer has arrived and it's gonna take us like, uh, probably a few days, three days to assemble it all. Uh, but it will fill up this whole thing. It's big. So we'll have to level this out and reinforce it a little bit. We've got the stereo in uh, and then lots of storage. 
Like, look at all the storage. I got that, empty spots. That couldn't be any better. That really yeah. worked out good, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And I, it's all bolted to the wall. So oh, nice. Uh, it is super, super duper sturdy. Uh, so if you're not six foot tall, you can climb up the shelves and get to the. You could, but the probably I probably will do that, but I shouldn't do that. And I actually there's I can add like another I don't know eighty or so of these things. So I actually plan for expansion, uh, but uh, I'll slowly start getting them. these things are so awesome. Uh, I have another twenty four on the way, uh, so that I can put electrical stuff in there and I can start separating things a lot easier. So I love acrobins. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. Man, this is great, and that that looks so nice. And you got your uh, hydrant boxed in there. That's a good. Solution. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this turned out really good here. So that worked out. So the hydrant's in there, and it's got uh, our faucet and the heater on it. So now it's actually enclosed. So when it does get to below freezing, uh, we're fine. No, man, no that's nice. That. That's really nice, Jeff. You did a great job in here. It turned out really good. Very, very happy with this. Decided to order some big propane tanks just to be safe in case we're quarantined up here for the next six months. <laughs>